Welcome to Load on Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss how you will create a script for REST API services. Okay. And uh, let's start our tutorials. In my previous tutorials, I have given web services scripting. So please go through once and let's start. So what is a REST API services actually? So REST means representational state transfer. Is a HTTP or HTML protocol. Okay, SOAP is a WSDL protocol. Okay, web services description language which could be used SOAP. So in the form of XML and uh, in REST you will uh, see different different media types. Okay, so it has grown very popular model for software architecture mostly for web applications. So why they are using REST API means it is very fast compared to WSDL files and uh, which is uh, REST is uh, very security and uh, so in SOAP uh, services uh, you can't uh, get means like web services WSDL okay that's why most of the applications are using REST API in this generation okay in the past few years uh, software companies are using rest okay, instead of web services ws states okay let's uh, go through the basics components of api which is a rest representational state transfer protocol it is having three components that is a uniform resource identifiers methods and header so what is a uri the uniform resource identifier is a string which is having the host address for API calls. If you see here, this is a uniform resource locator which is having a API calls. Okay, resource parameters you want to pass in the point. What it is saying, API call path which is used to identify the call functionality and the last one is a pairs of some key values. Okay. And when coming to method, this is a method. Get, post, put, delete, header, options. Okay, these are so methods we need to use. Okay. Next, uh, what is this one? Header. REST API services header will have different types such as JSON, XML. See, this is the media types. Text are XML. Application are JSON. Application are XML. Okay, next multi part form data, multi part mixed. Okay, so like this media type is different, different it is having, but in uh, coming to so you can't see these are details post or media types, post query string. So, end points you, this you will see only URLs. Okay, I'm using flight services, which is for uh, REST API services. See, it is having WDL file, so you can use. Okay, I'm using second one, flight, it will flight underscore rest. So when coming to these are some basics, coming to rest APIs, so let's start our script. Before writing, you preparing your script, just this is a start syntax, you need to follow this syntax, okay. Web custom request, why it is a web custom request, why because rest API services are HTTP request, this is a mode. HTTP or HTML request. Okay. So before starting your script, you should know the URL, which URL you want to test. Okay. Next, you have to know what is the method, post or get. Okay. And uh, what is the content type, text or XML. The, here I have seen shown, right? Media type means content type. Okay. Which is having application JSON, application XML, text or XML. Okay. So when coming to this flight services, I have identified that it is a text or XML. How I have identified means it is given requirement here. Reserve order which is a HP flights underscore rest that is a flight order which is the header it's a header is a content type is a text or XML. Okay, before preparing your script you just need to prepare this all requirements. What are the requirements? So, what is the URL? So, what is the method you want to test? Okay, what are the content type? What is the mode? And what is the body? 
okay what is the request parameter this is a body means request parameter if you have seen this is a body for this body i have created data dot xml file why because this data is coming in the form of xml file okay that's why i have created data dot xml file and now when coming to your script in coming to your script see data dot xml which is created under text files okay please understood if you have any doubts or anything please post me in the form of comments so that i will explain everything okay if you have any questions see first of all this is a syntax for every rest api this is a syntax the these string sorry these keywords you need to compulsory pass here then only it will work okay let's see so this is a data dot xml file okay why i have used means in the form it is given text or xml this is the input parameters if you have seen here see body it is giving as a parameter flight order details xml ns see this one class first number name to pass a date flight number number of tickets and flight order details okay i have taken this one on data dot xml just you need to okay just what i have to do just open your notepad okay just uh, copy this data so what are data it is having body just copy paste it here just save save as your file as a data.xml okay just go to all files data file data.xml instead of data.xml you can give any name i have just given data in the form this should be saved in xml okay just save it in just close this one so same like after saving just you need to go to extra files right click and add files to script okay just go to desktop i have saved right data.xml just open it will open your file added here in the form of data.xml if you click on this one in the, this is open tree right added return same data it is showing here same data it is right so which is the content type is a text or xml when coming to text content type is a application or json it is having different procedure okay different steps you need to follow here i in this lesson you will learn application json as well as text or xml okay i have prepared for url you need to prepare method which is a post when coming to here see reserve order which is a post method is a post this i have given method is a post your resource is a one or zero okay re content type that is a content type here it is given see content type is a text or xml that is i have given text or xml mode is a http why because rest api means http in the it is a mode compulsory it is in the form of http if you open here different different runtime settings you will see number of proxy everything but when created script for web services you will not see all data internet protocol these data will not display only half of the details will display okay when coming to body so body i have taking from this data dot xml file economy so my name and uh, date i have given departure date okay and flight number number of tickets okay just save it here i have taken that body from the this data dot xml file which is saved in this location load runner tutorials data dot xml last okay last means if it is pass or fail everything it is depends on this last it is automatically giving the result so means last okay so this is a syntax this is a format you need to follow for every rest api services okay let me run this one i have not given any result so i will show you how to it will display okay this this one you understood right okay 
this is this i'm given start transactions and end transaction i want to know what is the time it has taken to execute one iteration okay i have i'm running for only one iteration okay this is a one iteration and coming to runtime settings just uh, change this number of iteration is a one pacing is not required just log we need advanced log extended why because it will show you parameter substitutions data written by the server advanced trace okay and think time not required just we are running for only one iteration right okay additional it is also not required okay just click on okay just save this script is a simple script if you have seen just one two three four five six seven only seven lines of code is required remaining you can use trans trans start transactions and in transaction and you can use lr underscore some like uh, if conditions you can use okay if you run run this one so run this one it will display each and every steps in the replay status log okay just click on run will give you the details see solution explorer as well as step navigator it is given from virtual user initialization actions and end it is given the details right one trans transactions were performed why because i have given only one iteration okay not sorry i have given only one transaction in script so this is a pass status which has taken 1.0 to 19 seconds okay this is a return by the server okay, when coming to the result so when coming to the result it has given this a create flight has started okay so it is a body request so body it is given and when coming to Yes, the variable error warning. Some um, error is coming. Request is a yes, the variable. So it is passed. In the status is passed. Means uh, I think results uh, not given. Just uh, let me run from here. What is the problem actually? If I am given 27, I think uh, let me correct uh, flight number. I have given wrong flight number. I think 1089. This is the correct. 12 economy and the number of ticket is a one so if you run this one let me check whether it is service is working or not let me run it is given proper see it is given proper data okay 19656 okay 27 just i need to change the data this so i have to give 28 just okay, save this one and uh, let's close Okay. Write XML. Okay. Let's uh, write this one. Sorry, run this one one more time. This is a syntax. This you need to prepare in this way only. So let me check the URL once. Flight order local is two four two four zero. I have given two four two flight order. Okay. Let me run this one one more time. Run this one. It is having uh, method is a post resource one. So it is giving the details. The answer is already run, but it is I think stuck. It is running. Okay. Now check the result. Okay. It is giving a bad request from this server. So it's same. What are details? It has given the result. Same, it will display here. Okay, I think not accessing by the. Okay, it is giving some error. Request error. It is giving error. Okay, in here it is giving error. When I have used in my laptop, working laptop, office laptop, it was working fine. Some issue with the server. We not able to access in. Uh, here in home so same like this you need to prepare the script okay same this is a compulsory you need to use this syntax okay so let me run this one one more time just using as a zero this is a script this is a way you need to prepare okay no need of uh, so this i am changing the data 
Batman and uh, this I need to change. I think it is already prepared. Let me run this one. Not able to access. That's why it is running very slow. Okay. See line numbers, everything it is giving. So it is having bad request. Uh, I don't know why it is coming. Status is a code is a 400 bad request. Some here it is working fine. Okay. So same like you need just need to uh, prepare when coming to application JSON. For JSON type coming to here instead of creating JSON dot uh, data dot JSON file. Yes, you have to create here this body under this body you have to give in this way see so what is the request it is having okay same like this even just I will show you how it request will actual request will look okay just open notepad okay card number I just it will start from here number details just remove this one so actual request will look like this so this is your actual result okay actual request it is your actual request just you have to provide this backslash the normal system can take you sorry this uh, actual user generator will accept the data so like this you need to pass the data okay so this one is not required just uh, remove this one so this is the actual your actual results okay this is a comma is not required this is your actual just comma here it will require this is your actual raised API request okay right so this is your actual so from here what I am so this what I am giving the data as yes I am passing this backslash before double quotation and see after not just before double quote each and every double question you just need to pass the see, uh, backslash okay from here you can do just right click here see coming to parameterization you can do from here just go to here replace with parameter okay maybe in I have in my uh, playlist I have given a parameterization testing also just go to just create here from parameters okay from data.xml file you can create the parameters the parameter testing also so in this way you can create the parameters same like same like from here you can create the when you click on this data and when you click on right click same same details you will get from here just right click same screen will you will get and you will just create you just need to create new parameters from here okay so in this type you need to prepare for json type as well as text or xml type okay so it was running so that's why okay yeah thank you thank you for watching my video i will check this why it is not coming so please uh, start practice this one in, uh, in your applications okay if you have any connection uh, in your company just uh, practice this one this is a basic same time this just you need to follow this same time then only it will your it will script will run this is a proper example okay yeah thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe and please like and provide your valuable comments